Hey, what's up, guys? Um, um, that's more like a video request than I had from a couple of um, friends on uh, Facebook and on the Green Dragon Tavern YouTube. Um, that's me about some feedback about some new product and items that I tested the shooting and the mule with the mule. <coughs> so, nothing much. I'm gonna head and tell you my experience with every each item on the table or sample of the item on the table. Let's go for the air protection. I gotta try those um, impact sport from Overlight. Um, they work very well. They kind of weird at the beginning the way that you perceive the sound uh, but they are pretty good not had any problem be shooting bunch of stuff load stuff too and no problem at all with my ears of course I am still wearing the earplugs underneath them but they are comfortable no problem at all uh, price wise they are very interesting and I was also using on them the SOE wrap uh, nice help a little bit with the sweat and everything not too bad makes it a little bit more comfortable so I give them a thumb up in deep. Now, as ice protection, I was using the Wilex with my um, with the rust uh, lens stone. I think they call, I don't remember. So anyway, the rust rusty color ones lens, and uh, with my polycarbonate uh, prescription lenses, perfect work. They work fine. The lenses are actually pretty good even in the darkness. Um, the other option would be the yellow one, but I don't I don't come with that one. So anyhow, I replaced the normal um, set I come with. I replaced it with this, those um, headband or whatever you want to call it. Um, they actually bother me way less when I'm wearing the um, ear protection than other shooting glasses that I used before. So I give those one a thumb up too. Aesthetically, they're probably not, not the best one, but who cares? As long as I'm safe, I think that's the most important thing. We are not doing any beauty contest. <laughs> I test for a little bit just for fun. This Simon's, uh, sorry, all the way. Simon's range finder works fine actually. Pretty interesting tool actually. If you're going to range, maybe or hunting. I never had one, and I had pretty good deal on this one, so can be useful actually. Uh, gun wise, we the test to change. Te sorry, I got the chance to test the Mauser finally. I'm in love with that gun. Too bad the ammo is a bit expensive, but really like it. Really, really like it. Why there is a sticker of rifle dynamics? Very easy, because I had the chance to shoot the RD 501 um, rifle dynamic rifle that I purchased lately, and I'm really amazed. Uh, the finishing is outstanding, uh, all the smooth, really nice. The configuration is perfect. The flesh either worked fine, the comp. Really, really nice rifle. I'm really, really happy about it. Um, with Anna, with that, I've tested um, some Wolf Military Classics 5.45 by 39 millimeter. They work very well, actually, no, no problem at all. Sorry, on the Russian side, we test lately. My wife was having issue with the Sig, the little Sig, 2380, 2, 238 in 380. But she actually using this stuff and it works fine, surprisingly, actually, and it's not too bad. Mm, what else? Um, well, and magazine wise, um, we try a Megar magazine for my wife SIGs and they work fine and they cost like half of the price of the SIG one. So they went working better than the SIG standard one. So I give a thumb up to Megar, I was pretty sure about it. I used them on my 11. And then uh, the other stuff was the uh, Pro Mag magazine for the 74, where people complain about them. I have like zero issues with them. so. Really happy. I mean, consider the price I paid for. It. So long term period, maybe they might uh, need required to be tested longer. But anyway, that was a quick video. Um, I hope I answered people's questions about a couple of different products. You let me know what you think about it. And if you got any further questions, feel free to contact me. And uh, you're always welcome. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, spread the word, and have a good day.